If you've been trying to overclock your control and all you're getting is an error code over and over and over, just like I'm showing in this video right here, make sure to stay tuned through the whole video. I'm about to show you how to fix it and what worked for me, so you can go ahead and give it a try as well. If this video helps you in any shape or form, make sure to please hit that like because that's the only way I can grow and of course subscribe. Okay guys, so once you're here, just make sure to go to the Windows search bar. And I'm currently on Windows 11, but I'm pretty sure you could also do it on Windows 10. You could go ahead and give it a try. So you wanna go to the search bar and you wanna type in core isolation, okay? Once you're in core isolation, click it, and then this is gonna prompt up, okay? So before I explain anything on this section right here, just make sure to go to create a restore point okay just in case you want to go back into the previous day that way if you want to have it as the same way you just had it before any changes create a restore point like i said you could search it up in here and once you're here you could just create it right here so you could just put previous version boom once you create it and let's say for any reason you want to undo any process that i'm about to show you right now you can just easily open this up again and then click system restore once you're here you choose different restore point next and then you're gonna find that version right here so you just click it boom and then it's gonna prompt you to restart your pc and then just let it do what it gotta do and then everything is gonna be as normal as when you started again in this process all you want to do is just go to core isolation the memory integrity prevents attacks from inserting malicious code into a high security process and this one by default is gonna be on but you just want to turn it off i'm gonna keep this option off because this is the way that it works for me as well and if you ever want to turn it back on you can try to see if it lets you turn it on here or like I said, you could just go back to the restore point and then go back to the previous version and that's it, you're gonna be good to go. This is pretty much what's preventing that this app pretty much lets you overclock the controller. So once you turn it off, it's gonna tell you to, you have to restart the PC. So what you wanna go ahead is just go ahead and restart your PC turn it back on and it's going to be just like this obviously as off okay so once you do that and you restart your pc you want to come back to the driver then you go back to the setup yes then you want to click right here all and then you want to go to the controller so this is going to always be the controller it pretty much always says headset earphone that way you have an idea which one it is so then from there now you do the process okay so all you have to do is just click here on filters on device then if it is default make sure to put it to a thousand and once you're done with that then you click install service okay so once you have your controller the way that you can check if it is working so usually at the default you're gonna have a five right here right so once you do the whole process it should turn to a one so how to check if you have a one or any other different number once you're done with that process all you have to do is just disconnect it and then connect it back so once you connect it back on the usb once it pops up again which is here headset earphone then you should have it just like this so it should say yes a thousand and one so now this one is for the ps4 controller scuff but this works for any other controller as well but for the ps5 controller you see how it says here a thousand i'm pretty sure for the ps5 it just says it just say uh i think you could you could set it to like eight thousand or so so yeah you gotta go for the highest and then you should be good to go. Anyways, make sure to hit the like button on this video and let me know in the comments below if this worked for you or if you keep having any error code. If you wanna know how to overclock any controller in details, you could go ahead and check out my other video. I'll show you there how to do it and where you can download the link for it. I'll put the link of the video at the end.